Handy Andy Home Improvement Centers was founded in 1947 and closed in 1996. Thank you for your suggestions. Check the selection, see how little you've paid with Handy Andy. You've got it made. This solid brass peerless kitchen faucet with spray features washerless design. Handy Andy sale price this week only $34.99. Or get this powerful Black & Decker 7 and a quarter inch circular saw for only $34.99. Plus, a chance to win a $440 workshop. With Handy Andy, you got it made. Before it was named Handy Andy Home Improvement Centers, the company was known as Aero Lumber Company, which was founded by Joseph Raschkow in 1947 on the south side of Chicago. The single unit Aero Lumber Company would serve the Chicago area for the next 20 years until Joseph's son, Ronald, who had been serving as vice president, took over the company in 1967. It was Ronald who envisioned expanding his store into a retail chain. He would begin his expansion in 1971 by changing the name of the company to Handy Andy Home Improvement Center. The company supplied a mix of lumber, hardware, plumbing, and home and lawn goods. The home decor industry, which is now a multi-billion dollar industry, consisting of furniture, textiles, and floor covering products, are the key components of home decor. Expansion and developments in the real estate industry have supplemented the growth of world home decor market as well as home improvements. Ronald saw this as an opportunity, growing his chain to become one of the largest chains in the Midwest area, operating in Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Missouri, Ohio, Tennessee, and Wisconsin. The stores would be known for their highly visible signs with a cartoonish handyman in a red wool shirt who looks oddly like Home Improvement's Tim the Toolman Taylor. Handy Andy Home Improvement Center would be the largest home improvement center retailer in Chicago. Briefly, it would peak at 72 stores in seven states and had approximately 11,000 employees and annual revenue of $750 million. The company competed with other local retailers such as Forest City, Menards, Builder Square, and eventually Home Depot. In the 1980s, the company would expand into other areas by acquisition. Its first major acquisition occurred in 1979 when it acquired four Republic Lumber store locations from Jewel food stores in the Chicago market. In 1986, Handy Andy acquired six Chicago area Mr. House stores from service merchandise. The stores were renamed Handy Andy. In January of 1987, Forest City Enterprises sold 18 home improvement stores in the Cleveland, Akron, and Detroit areas to Handy Andy, which would leave them under the Forest City's name. In 1989, Handy Andy would continue its expansion by acquiring 21 central hardware store locations in Missouri, Kentucky, and Ohio, as well as Wit Wholesale Hardware from Interco. This aggressive expansion in the 1980s would ultimately lead to Handy Andy's demise in the 1990s. The biggest problem for Handy Andy, which had grown awkwardly into the home improvement chain, once feared by neighborhood hardware stores, was that it lacked a long-range strategy and a disciplined plan for growth. Aggressive expansion through acquisition fueled revenues but created a hodgepodge of units whose cultures and operating systems failed to meld into a cohesive retailing company. Handy Andy never improved with size. The benefits of being big were overshadowed by confusion and inefficiency. Its move to buy the business of its competitors when they filed for bankruptcy was perhaps the biggest blow to the company's financial strength. It had to absorb the debt and liabilities of these companies, and the once handy Andy became financially unstable. 
The company tried cutting costs by laying off staff and sourcing products with lower quality. The latter drastically affected its image and sales. On October 17, 1995, Handy Andy declared bankruptcy due in part to creditor pressures, which led to the closure of about 20 of its stores. Handy Andy had listed debts of $123 million and had planned to reorganize into hardware supermarkets, but several banks that it had owed money to preferred that Handy Andy liquidate all operations to help repay its debts. The remaining 54 stores in Illinois, Michigan, Missouri, Ohio, Tennessee, and Wisconsin closed by June and eliminated 2,500 jobs. By June of 1996, Handy Andy Home Improvement Centers closed their doors for good. So what do you remember about this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.